Hey, it's Chris with Texta, and today we are going to be doing an overview of the off-highway software. So from here, we're going to start by clicking the IDC6 icon. All right, so the first thing it's going to take us to is the environment selection. From here, we can select off-highway. And this will be the main page that you're brought to. So for our new IDC6 software, we have integrated AI technology within it. Uh, we've also revamped the system in itself. So the first thing I want to show you is actually one of our new AI features. So this is going to be the AI global search. So we can click on that icon. So the first thing I'd like to show you here is our AI global search. So for this one, we will be able to search up procedures, different codes and get breakdowns. So for this one, I'm gonna type in real quick, Caterpillar Regen. All right, so now that we sent this in, we're gonna be searching. And one thing to note that this is not a global search. All the information within this is going to be from our database and from technician submissions as well. So right now it's showing you how to do a manual regen on a Caterpillar vehicle. So you can see the different steps it takes. And then if you want, you can actually click on the blue link and it'll give you a little bit more information on it. So this one's if there's a filter light warning on, you can actually go see the possible clauses and the solution itself. Now important thing to remember about the global search is that it's not a Google search. All the information that this is pulling from is from within our database. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is go over the new home screen here. So this will be the AI Smart Diagnosis. Uh, the next tab, the next button is going to be your Diagnosis button. So this will be the same as it was in IDC5. It's gonna be the main tab that you're gonna hit to go in to diagnose any vehicle. Uh, we do have our off-highway standard protocol here, as well as a button for our eTrip workshop, if you have eTrip. So from here, we can go over to measurements, and these will be the selections for the measurements. And then you'll have your utility programs as well. So from here, you have your measurement unit converter. You'll have your customer management, so any of your saved files, any of your recordings will be able to be viewed through here. Uh, you'll have the exchange manager, and you'll also have the off-highway cables. So if you click that, you'll be able to see the cable list, cables by brand, cable cases, and then our adapters. So if we go back to the main page, we can actually go over to favorites. So what we've done here is we've actually added the ability so that you can add your most used functions to the home screen. So we all know time is money. So this will be a way to diagnose a vehicle quicker and get jobs done more efficiently. So we can go and select which ones we want. And then from here, hit save. So then you can actually see this is what you're gonna be logging into. So as soon as you start off highway, this will be the page you jump to. So from here, we're gonna go into diagnosis. So from here, you can see we have ag, construction, and special vehicles, forklifts and telehandlers, and industrial engines. On the left-hand side, you'll have customer management. So this again is where you're gonna be able to view any of your saved information. You can actually enter in your customer as well. So you have your license plate, VIN, make, and then from here you can hit next and then go from there. Uh, you'll have your eye support here. So if you need to submit anything, uh, if we don't have it, or if we have an issue with something, or you'd like to have something added in, you can use it the eye support. Uh, we do have a special code as well. So what special code is, is uh, the ability to do any type of uh, calibration, or if you need to do a region outside of internet connection, you'll have five times to do that. After that, you'll have to just connect to either Wi-Fi or hotspot, hit update, and you'll be able to do, you'll be able to get five more. And then we have our full coverage list here as well. So from now, we're gonna go into construction and we'll just go into uh, CAD real quick. Once you have the vehicle selection, the self-diagnosis page is gonna be your start. From here, if you want to know what cable you need to use or where the located, where it's located at, you can actually go over to the start button and then right next to that's going to be a video clip. Once you click that, it'll tell you the cable and show you a video on the location of it.
So moving on from there, we can go over to the left side. We'll have the technical data sheets. So this will be any of the proper procedures or TSP release. You can see here, anything in orange is gonna be the TSP. And then from there, you can go on. Uh, you do also have built-in wiring diagrams with this as well. So all these diagrams are built into the software, so you don't need an internet connection to access them. You can actually click into it, select which model you want, and you can view it from there. So they do have breakdowns. You can click on the card, click on the component sheet, and then from there, it'll give you information, a description on it, what it looks like, operating principles, recommended checks, and the wiring check on it as well. So we do also have technical data and checks as well. So we can go to mechanical data, uh, select the engine, and then from there we can go the engine system. So this one you can see the firing order, injection pump, uh, engine lubrication as well. So you can see the main components of that. Uh, then you can also go into lubricants and capacity so you can see what exactly is required for the engine and how much. And then we do have the pass through. So if you're going to use OEM software, you can actually use our VCI as a pass through for that. And again, we have customer management over here. So if you want to add in a customer or if you want to save a file underneath a specific customer, you can as well. So let's go back to self-diagnosis. So going on this page, you'll have the vehicle maintenance. So this will be the hot function for any of your vehicle resets. Uh, you'll go into adjustment and coding. So if you're gonna program injectors, run regens, any of the resets, that'll be in here. Uh, activations and tests are gonna be any of our bi-directional. So anything we can essentially make move or run tests on will be in there. So the main thing you're gonna do once you get in here is run a system scan. That way you know what component is it is in that system and if there's a code and if they're present. Okay, so now we're scanning. So this is gonna pull up all the uh, computers on board this vehicle. So this is gonna be where our second part of the AI integration is gonna take place. This is gonna be our AI diagnostic assistant. So what we've done is put the most amount of information in front of you that way it's a little easier to diagnose the problems at hand so from here we can collect in okay so you see you get the breakdown over here so you see a whole breakdown on that and then we can click on this one and again this is going to be searching through our databases for this so this one actually signals uh, a problem for the injector on cylinder one so if you want any more information, you can actually click on the blue highlighted option and it will give you more information and a better breakdown on it. So what we can do from here is if you want to save this or print this out, print a report out, you can actually click on the printer option. Okay, then hit added to PDF file. And then we can open it up. That way we can view it. And this way, if you need to either print this out or if you need to email it, everything is in PDF form. That way you can see it right there. So, and if you want to save this, so if you want to start a customer profile, you can actually go in and hit save. That way later on, we'll be able to create the customer information and selection for this one. So after that one, we're going to go select the diesel injection Caterpillar protocol. Hit confirm. Okay. So we can see the codes right here. And then from here, we're going to select Texa AI. So this is going to be our diagnostic assistant. Okay, so we see the fault code here. Let me go down to this one, and then we can see the breakdown as well. So yeah, we have a full breakdown here. So from here, we've actually done something pretty special here. We've tied that code to the wiring diagram. So you can actually click on that 
and it's gonna bring you to that component. It'll actually highlight it for you as well. So that way you can see where it's at. You can click the card and then see what it is itself. So it'll give you information, description, operating principles and recommended checks for it. So again, that's highlighted on this as well. So you can see that right there. Okay. So this will be the live data view. So again, you can see what we have here. If you want to double tap it, you can see it through graphical data. Uh, we've also added in dashboards as well. So we can go into that dashboard selection and you can see through here. So each one of these two also has a diagram tie-in. So you can actually click on that, select which one it is and it'll bring you to that component highlighter right here. You can click on the card, from there hit the component sheet, and then you get your information, description, what it looks like, operating principles, and your recommended checks for it. Okay, so we'll back out of there. All right. So again, you can also print and save this with this. Uh, we do also have the ability to filter out as well. So if you're looking for something specific, you can hit the star button right here. And that way you can select through each individual systems or if you wanna create your own search group. So this will help you if you've got that intermittent issue or if you've got that ghost code that just keeps reappearing, you can go in here, select the plus button, select exactly what you're looking for, or you can search for it. From there, hit the check mark, and then you can hit the record button. So this will allow you to do a road test with it. So if you can try to recreate the conditions uh, with what the code is set with, uh, you'll be able to view it. Um, so the cool thing about that is you can actually take this out. You don't need the computer with you or anything like that. You can take the multi-hub out, take it for a run, come back in. Uh, you'll be able to view everything that's imported uh, through graphical data and It'll also save it to the My Customer as well. So that way you can create a profile on it. So that way if the vehicle comes back, you can go back and check it for reference. A little bit easier troubleshooting that way. You see, you'll have your ECU info over here and then you'll have your activations. So again, these will be any of our bi-directionals that we could run and any of the tests. And then settings are gonna be your regens, uh, fuel pumps, uh, any of the injector exchanges here. So pretty much any of the calibrations we can do on this or resets. All right, so we are back out of that. Okay, so right now this is where we save the system scan. We can hit enter customer. I'll just type one on that for now, just so I can show you what it looks like. And then we can hit save. And there it is. So now you can see the TGS3 save, the system scan. You can hit view. And then from there, you can click on the report button and you'll see it right here. And then you can also print it from here as well. Okay, so from here we can go back to the main menu. And uh, that about wraps up the overview of the off-highway software. And uh, thank you for watching.